Hello all, my name is Rahul and welcome to this session on Java language. In this video, we will try to understand the real-time example on variables including declaration and initialization and also the reinitialization of variables in Java language. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be using normal editor that is edit plus. If you have Eclipse or NetBeans uh, configured in your system, then you can use that and you can start practicing Java, uh, you know, variables coding in that. So uh, if you can see, I have a Java tutorial folder. So this is the folder in D drive, which I'm using to save my uh, Java codes or Java files. So let's start. So this is a normal text here. I'll write the class. So the class name would be Java test. So there should not be any space. And we have already discussed, uh, you know, the convention of uh, identifiers and variable identifier everything in the previous lecture. If you have not uh, watch there please go and watch uh, th those videos we have also discussed about the class declaration how we write the first class so i would recommend you to please watch that and after that you can start uh, this lecture so i'm going to write my first class where we, where we will understand the uh, variables concept so this is the public static word main this is the main method declaration now again you will have to start the braces and inside that you can declare anything right so my class name is java test and this is the main method declaration so uh, we have already seen it declaration of variables in java language so this is how we declare so we have two types of uh, variables primitive and reference variable and this is the uh, you know syntax we use so i'll just copy the same thing and i'll just paste it over here so now let's understand the declaration separately and initialization after that we will combine declaration and initialization and we will try to understand that so data type i will be using int over here and uh, variable name so let's say variable name is value for me so this is what we call declaration now if we talk about initialization then what we do is the same variable name which we have used you just have to copy it so in my case the uh, variable name is value so i'll just paste the same thing over here and now the value which you want to assign for value identifier so i'll just say 10 over here now once you write this so this statement what we call we call it as initialization now what you will have to do is if you are using normal editor then you just have to save it and after saving it you just have to say the class name the same class name so my class name is java test and the extension would be java for a uh, java file now i'll just click on save so this is my folder java tutorial now once you save it in order to run this program what you will have to do is you will have to use command prompt but in my case if you can see i have just declared and initialized the variable i have not used the retrieval uh, statement that is system dot out dot print ln so if you don't use uh, this uh, system dot out dot print ln definitely your code will get compiled if you interpret this code you will be getting nothing in your console as well as in command prompt so let me show you if we don't use uh, you know this system dot out dot print and then what will happen so what i'll do is i'll just go to this location itself uh, where i have saved all my files and i'll just say cmd so cmd is open now now what i'll do is i'll just say to compile the code you just have to say java c java test that is class name dot java now it will compile the code so we have not got any error it means there is no any syntax error in my code now in order to execute it interpret it what you will have to do is you just have to say java and the class name now once you enter you will not get any output why because we have not used system dot out dot print ln statement in my program so if you use this and let's say i'll say uh let's say value is and here i'll just say so these all things we will understand what is concatenation and operator uh, and uh, so here i'll just say uh value or simply if you want to just get the output you just have to remove it and just say the variable identifier name so this is value so the same thing i have copy and paste now you just have to save it after saving it if you again go to your command prompt again you will have to do recompilation of your code so java c java test dot java so there is no any compilation error now you can interpret it so to interpret you just have to say java and java test you will get your output as 10 over here the same thing we have entered right you will get as an output in uh, your command prompt so this is how we do declaration and initialization now if we talk about in in one line how we can declare and initialize so what you can do is i can just say if you just say int value 
equals to 20 then you will get compile time error the reason is you have already used value over here in this code now if you just again say value and if you just try to use uh, the same uh, retrieval statement here let me show you i'll just save this code you will get a compile time error saying that value is already exist so you can see the co uh, it says variable value is already defined in method main int value equals to 20. so if you have already defined that you will not be able to use that code again it means you can use any code once in java language so in order to define it uniquely i'll just say int value one and here i'll say int value one now if you compile your code again then you will get your output as 10 and 20. so this is how we uh, you know get the output so this is what we call this is declaration and initialization in one line so uh, in in coming lecture we will also understand why we use only this line and this line and wh what will happen if we don't use this or this so we will understand uh, that in coming lecture with all the proper logic i'll give you uh, you know as much as logic to make this java language you know very simple and easy so uh, this is how we declare and initialize the code now coming to the float type right so if i just say int uh, value 2 equals to uh, uh, i'll say 3 by 2 we know 3 by 2 will give you output as 1.5 right because if you divide uh, 3 uh, by 2 then you will get output as 1.5 but in java language this would be a float because the result what we are getting is a decimal uh, result if you write anything in upon format or proper fraction format then java what it does is if you compile the code and if you just say int over here it will remove digits after the after the decimal and it will give you an output as one so i'll just use the same system statement over here and uh, i'll just say value two over here now I'll just save my code and we'll try to uh, you know compile it again. To clear the command prompt, you can use this CLS uh, CLS command. Now I'll just recompile my code and after recompiling it, if you just interpret it, you will get 10, 20, and 1. It means after the decimal, the digits which we are getting here in real time, it is removing all those uh, digits after the decimal. It is only giving you the uh, whole number part. But what if I say the same thing as you know float so i'll just copy the same thing and uh, let's understand with float so if i just say float and uh, this should be value three now if you just compile the code and interpret it again you will get the output as one itself 10 21 and 1.0 1 why because float and double accepts what decimal number that's why you are getting this in the previous case we have defined we have declared and initialized three by two as an int that's why it is discarding the uh, uh, digits which are coming after decimal and it, it is just giving giving you the whole number part but in case of float since it accepts the uh, decimal number that's why it is giving you an output as 1.0 so in same case you know if you talk about byte short so like byte you'll just something you can write over here and i'll use the same statement here so i'll just copy the same thing and we'll do it for short as well and uh, this should be value 5 now if you save it and if you just compile the code again you will get your output as expected again 20 is uh, again your int value 1 this is value 2 this is value 3 which we have declared using the flow data type and this is byte and this is a uh, short so for care declaration i'll just we just use care as a data type and i'll just say value six over here what happens is if you if you start writing this is for newbies guys if you start writing your code you know you will definitely miss it so please do not miss to put semicolon at the end of uh, your uh, declaration and in initialization of your code every time you will have to use this or else you will get an error so if i don't write this and if i just use uh, uh the, you know system dot out dot print ln let's see what happens now if you just recompile the code so you can see error 27 line so on uh, in 27 line it is saying this is expected after value 6a and we have missed it uh, intentionally so you will have to put these all things even after uh, system dot out dot print ln or any uh, declaration and initialization of variable so these all things are very important you will have to use this if you just recompile your code then you will not get any error and uh, your program is ready and you will get your out so in case of care we use a single quote and inside the single quote we write our uh, you know uh, characters now if you talk about string what we do is uh, we use double quotes 
So here I'll say Java and here you just have to put semicolon and after that you just have to use the system.out.println in order to get the output. Make it as value 7. Now once you save it and if you just try to recompile your code then you will get this as an output Java program right 1021 1.0 15 and this is the string value which we are getting in command prompt as an output. So this is how we get the output if you, if you have any issue while compiling the code you will get the proper uh, you know uh, information in your command prompt or in your console in case of eclipse and you just have to troubleshoot that so these all things i would i would say please start uh, you know working on it because troubleshooting is the main thing in java language so later on if you if you try to develop any application then these all things how to debug the code and how to troubleshoot it these all things are very important and you will have to work on it so you can start working on it uh, right away and uh, hope uh, you will get a good hands on on this types of troubleshooting and all yeah uh, this is all about and one more important thing is if i just say float or let's say int and uh, i'll say value so this is again a uh, you know out of box uh, type of example so value 8 equals to if i just say 3 dot and if I just use uh, the system.out.println in order to get the output, then you will get an error. Now, if you just go and compile the code, let me just clear the command prompt. After that, I'll try to recompile. Now, you will get a compile time error saying that incompatible. So, what is the error we are getting? In incompatible types, possible lossy conversion from double to int, int value 8, 3.2. So, this is the error we are getting. Why? Because what we have done here is in the previous case we have used the proper fraction right this is proper of kind of fraction type so in case of fraction your int will give you the output as a whole number but if you use decimal then you will get an out uh, you will get an uh, compile time error same thing if i use if i remove this and say float over here and if you just try to recompile your code so i'll just recompile the code again again you will get an error simply saying uh, conversion from double to float it means if you are using float there is a digit after the decimal in that case you will have to explicitly define here saying that float now if you say this so this this has to be done explicitly so these all things we will understand you don't have to uh, you know you don't have to worry about it we will understand each and everything in coming lectures now if you just recompile your code your, your code will get compiled and you will get as an interpretation as an output all this so you can see over here so this is the uh, output we have got like three dot if you don't explicitly say this float then you will get an error in in, in your console or command prompt so this is all about this lecture and uh, if you like this video please do like share and subscribe till then please stay safe stay healthy bye bye